for a minute. Um, customer wanted extra durability. One of the services that I offer here at Head Bites is called pumping. And I just did the pumping procedure to this Volkswagen Diesel Rabbit. And that's where I fill the water jackets full, close up all the holes. It's got a ghost in the place. And fill it full of the epoxy. And then heat it to about, I don't know, a couple of hundred of degrees in my oven. Then I empty it out. And then once the excess is poured, which is what it is now, I put it on my kerosene heater or the oven, whichever one I got fuel for and turn it upside down and I rotate it a few times until it cooks all the epoxy and gets it embedded in the ports. Now where this really makes a big difference, it, of course, is if you port the heads really hard and um, let's see if we can get a better Get them pretty thin. I think you can see the coloring. This is a new stuff I'm trying. It's, it's like a Gliptol and it's red uh, insulation epoxy. Okay. And it seems to work really good. It builds a coating up. Yeah, there we go. It builds a coating up around about 20 to 30 thousandths all through the water jackets, the water ports, everything. And if there's any porosity holes, man, this shit is fantastic. It really blocks it. Like I said, it's put in under pressure. Then the excess drained out, and it is messy. That's the only downfall. I get the shit everywhere, and I'm pretty good at it. And uh, then I cook it for about an hour and let it bake real good, and whammy, you're ready to go. But I just wanted to show... Oh, it looks really good. How the epoxy coating looks on the water jackets and on the inside. All right, we'll get a closer look when we get it off the oven.